Hello ladies and gentlemen and we've got a special message today on behalf of this very special video we'd like to say a big thank you from the entire randomized gaming team for helping us reach the 2000 subscriber milestone and surpassing the 1 million view milestone on YouTube as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We couldn't have done this without you. So from the bottom of the heart of everyone of the team we really do thank you. And we hope this continues as we bring you more content over the next few years. So as you probably know by now, and you may well even be sick of hearing my voice over the past few years, I am of course Random Gamer Riven, the editor of Randomized Gaming. And yes, it is actually quite an honour to be able to do this type of video where we thank you, the viewer, for helping us to get where we are today. So yes, I am very humbled we have reached these milestones and thank you. When we started this we didn't know where we'd end up in a few years time and it seems we are gradually finding our niche on YouTube so to speak. So one of the big changes from when we did the 1000 milestone video which was last year, in fact I really am surprised as how quickly we've gone from the 1000 to 2000 subscribers is now that we have actually monetized the channel and once we start earning revenue on the channel we're still a little bit off receiving anything from Google just yet but once we do we will put that money back into the channel and hopefully be able to buy a few niche games to cover that haven't been covered that much on YouTube. One of the big changes I'm sure you've seen this year is when we picked up an open source scan converter and that has really improved the quality of most of our videos. The only console we currently have at the minute that we can't capture from open source scan converter and even home computer. Well, the ZX Spectrum, although as yet we haven't done a ZX Spectrum video on the day I dragged that out, I will feel a bit nervous as if I can get it running again. And the NES, and I think for now we'll stick with the NES with the old scalar type because we don't, we only have a composite NES. You need to get it modded and all sorts. And I am have been looking into getting a US RGB modded NES at some point, but at the minute I've not been able to source one. Now I must admit we had planned to do a few sort of documentary videos and we are planning to do more sort of documentary type videos in the future because I think it helps benefit the channel and it helps deliver a bit more knowledge. A lot of the videos we tend to do at present are fairly sort of relaxed long plays or slightly off the cuff videos that we just think on the day or two before we think let's do this work. A few of them that we have planned out which have taken the problem with planning out videos is they take months and months if you plan them out fully and spend months on them but that's something we do need to consider more going forward and one of the opportunities on this video is to me ask for some really constructive feedback from you the viewer what you like about the channel what you don't so I really please do tell us what you like what you don't like and one of the things I have been thinking about and debating about now as to whether we set at the minute our video releases are sort of we try to get two to three videos out a week that's not always the case but we try to get at least two to three videos out and at the minute we currently don't have any set dates but I think that's something to consider for the future going forward whether you want us to release only on certain days so that way everyone knows what time and what days video will be releasing I think that would certainly benefit us from a schedule point of view but it does mean we perhaps won't do quite as many videos if we're releasing to a set schedule it also means I think we'd probably go to two videos a week if we were releasing on a schedule at present partly because we do have to balance the blog workload with the YouTube workload and I know myself we have been slightly neglecting the blog in favour of the YouTube because YouTube has brought along a lot more opportunities at the moment but I do want to expand the blog and at some point probably turn it into a fully fledged full on website. So one thing I will ask is like I said if you do have comments, feedback, what you do like, what you don't like please let us know. One thing I have noticed is that the minute we are primarily covering retro but we have been doing indie I have noticed the indie videos haven't been doing as well as the retro stuff but we will continue to do independent videos because having worked in the industry myself I know today's indie game designer may end up being the Shuyu Miyamoto of tomorrow and you may find again the indie games that we cover some of them could well end up being the Super Mario World or Street Fighter 2 of the future it's just that a lot of these games are, are still building up the standing and it's something from an industry perspective I do want to cover I know people who work on indie games I've known people who've worked on big titles as well and 
it's getting the balance right we need to support both sides of the industry so the indie side won't be going away and we will ideally i'd like to cover it a lot more on both sides but at the minute we just don't have the resources to cover it as much as i would like at present one thing i will say is i know there's probably a few of you wanting to know when the next hurts sort of comparison video is basically in case you haven't noticed we've recently updated the saturn hertz guide and primarily we've been prepping for a future coming saturn video at the minute and covering more on the actual hertz guide because we have been updating everything in the background because we've actually gained access to a full set of the pal sega saturn library so we can now review everything and now actually really compare it i think the only thing we need to do is try and source ntst copies of as many games as possible so we can compare them but in some cases that's extremely difficult to do in some cases they aren't available the ntst versions in some cases we'll need to get ntst versions on other platforms and in some cases it, it probably we won't be able to source them because in some cases the ntsc versions are incredibly rare but that is something we will do more of we do want to do more superior attack it's just i think at the minute we need to slightly tidy up the format and make everything a touch neater so i'd like to say a big shout out to both our core fans who i know some maybe you've been posting over the past few years and i have come to recognize certain people when they post I'm not going to say any direct shout outs but you, i do get to know some of you so it, that's quite nice actually meeting some of you and a few of the other guys said, you know, oh, this guy's posting again. It's nice to see the same people commenting again, such as it's always nice to see new comments as well from new people who are discovering our channel. So hello to both our existing commenters and some of our long term fans. Some of you guys have been around for a few years and hello to all the new people as well. We do notice we get a lot of new people coming to the channel as well. So there's a big shout out to the new and the old alike. And as always, if I can just say, please keep subscribing and please keep liking that videos actually one thing i would like to point out is if i can ask you guys if you can just go through if there are videos you've watched and you did enjoy and perhaps maybe perhaps forgotten to like them at least you go back and hit that like button it does help us analytically in youtube because the higher the ranking the more chance so the more thumbs up i think even thumbs down technically count as interaction for youtube weirdly so the more thumbs up we get them and even technically well i think the more thumbs up i think if you get loads of thumbs down it will definitely not recommend your video but the more thumbs up the more chance we have of the algorithm actually picking up our videos and sort of spreading the word on them so to speak as we are everyone is now battling to try and get the youtube algorithm to notice it although we haven't been able to grow the channel in a way even if the algorithm doesn't notice us which is very handy so I've got a selection of games running in the background and we've also got some YouTube music running in the background as well this video but yeah uh, if you do like any of the videos in the background by all means they are existing videos on the channel and I will have links with the game names and a link to the various videos that we when as and when we've released them so you can click on them if you want to see more of the set games we're showing in the background. It has been a whirlwind year i really am surprised you've hit this milestone so quickly so i cannot thank you all enough and if you do know more people who might like randomized gaming's content please do give them a nod a wink a nudge and please do point them in our direction i'm not sure when we'll do another thank you video ideally i'd like to probably wait till we hit probably about the three million views mark and possibly the five thousand subscribers i would like if i'm pushing it i know it probably won't happen i'd like to hit five thousand subscribers next year I don't think we will hit 5,000 subscribers next year, but you never know. I think we'd more likely hit ideally 3 to 4,000 next year. I'd like to push for 5,000, even though I don't think we'll get there, but it would be nice if we could do that. But yes, and we will just keep on producing the content you know and love. So and there will be more, and we will be diversifying a bit more over the coming year. But I will say, if you do have feedback, please do give us constructive feedback in the comments one thing i will say is occasionally we do get the thumbs down now maybe that's because people don't like the game some people may not like the video but the problem with the thumbs down is it doesn't tell us why you dislike the video so effectively even the thumbs up thumbs up you can kind of think well they must like the video just kicking the thumbs down gives you a dislike but you're like well why did they dislike it so have you ever hit the dislike on the 
one of our videos, please do explain what you disliked about this video because without knowing what you disliked about it, and remember the dislike should be for the video itself, not for the game featured within the video. So if there's something you didn't like, maybe I prattled on too much in the video. Maybe we didn't get to the meat and grind of the game too quickly. Maybe there are too many intros. Maybe the, you didn't feel the video was very coherent. It could be more punchy. We need to know what is wrong with those videos. If you just hit the dislike button on its own, that doesn't tell us anything. It just tells you disliked it and we don't know why. So we need just for sort of our own team purposes so we can actually look at it. If there's any reason you have not liked a video, please do then tell us why you hit that dislike button. At the same time, it's always nice to know why people hit the like button as well so we know what people like and what they don't like and what we're doing wrong and what we're doing right with the videos. But I think at the minute, we are very pleased with where we're going. I know at the minute, we are having a bit of a spur on the channel with some of the videos, so that's always good to see. You get peaks and troughs and at the minute we're on a high, which is always nice. I expect the high to come down a bit, but it does seem like we are gradually growing the channel steadily and surely. So the only way is up and what I can say is here's 2020. It's going to be an interesting year. But before we finish 2019, so I have for some time now had a couple of videos planned, one of which is a Saturn Top 10 video where we look at the top 10 sort of games to buy on a budget because I know these days if you have a top 10 list of Saturn games, there's going to be one or two that are going to be very pricey. We have a few other things planned as well, a few Hertz videos. I'm currently looking at the last few days I have been comparing Metropolis Street Racer between a normal build, the, the power version, between the first release version and the third build because there were an awful lot of bug changes and fixes which is quite interesting. Metropolis Street Racer was getting praised on the Dreamcast but what people don't know is the first power release, Sega rushed the game and it was incredibly buggy and that's something that I am looking forward to covering. I would like to cover more 56 Hz stuff. So I'm just going to say one last big thank you. I know some people are probably a bit tired as well of hearing me say hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, but it does help the channel. And sometimes we find it, it's helpful to give people a little nudge to remind them because often people will forget to hit those buttons and hitting those buttons does actually benefit our channel. And we are very pleased with the steady growth. Now we never expected to grow rapidly overnight. I think you need to get A, very lucky, or you need to generally concentrate on one area to build up a sort of niche. But we always wanted to cover all areas of gaming. That was something the team set out when we began. And we didn't want to focus just on one niche because eventually you end up where you're only covering one aspect. You can't really grow anymore unless you completely change your content. So we always want to cover all areas and we want to expand that further. But we're going to need a few more staff before we do that. But we will carry on covering every aspect of gaming because gaming is about every aspect. I mean, admittedly, if we were really growing our limits, I think we would have quite like to cover board games and painting. I know Random Gamer Dragoon does a lot of like miniature painting and there are a lot of sort of board games we would quite like to cover as well. But at the minute, we're primarily video game focused. But as we're called randomized gaming, you never know, we could cover other aspects of gaming in the future as well. So one thing I will say, we will be looking at doing affiliate links in the future as well. And some affiliate advertising, if they sort of match our ethos in terms of products, etc. It's something we do need to do to help be able to get additional revenue to grow the channel. We would prefer that randomized gaming can stand on its own two feet. We won't be looking at revenue streams such as Kickstarter because we don't feel they're the right fit for our channel and ethos at present, but we might be open to looking at outside investment, which is something we'd greatly appreciate. But I think we'll need to consider what we're going to do moving forward. At the minute, I think we're going to see how the advertising revenue grow goes and see how that goes from there. But certainly at some point, we will look at affiliate links and marketing as well. So that may well appear on the channel. But, and I know some of you may not like it, but it will help us to grow and that revenue will help keep and support randomized gaming as well. Right, I think that's enough information for me, but I think that gives you a good idea of where we are with the channel and where we plan to be and how we plan to grow it as well. So that gives you a good idea of what we plan to do in the next two, I'd say two to three years. All I can say is if you have any questions or comments or just like to thank us or tell us what videos you like, what you don't like, please do, as always, leave a comment below. We really do appreciate that contact and just that information because anything that we can do to improve our channel 
will benefit everyone. Admittedly, we will get some people who like some types of videos, some people who like other types, and we're never going to be able to get that perfect balance because no video will be perfect for everyone. But as long as we get it right for most of you most of the time, I think we're doing everything right. So one last very, very big thank you from me, Random Gamer Riven, and the rest of the randomizing gaming team. So stay tuned to the channel for the rest of the year in 2019. And as always, randomized gaming will remain voiceover commentary only. We have no plans to stick ourselves in front of the camera. Just not the way we want to do things. It must prefer us narrating to you rather than having to see me narrating. I know a lot of channels do do that. And maybe one day for a one-off episode, if we ever hit a million subs or some insane number of views, maybe we will cop up in front of the camera to say hello for a one-off special. But yes, we won't be doing that at all regularly. And finally, last but very not least, I should actually say a professional thank you to YouTube for creating the platform because without it we wouldn't have been hosting videos Tumblr for hosting the blog because we wouldn't be hosting a blog without Tumblr. I should also thank Shotcut who have been an excellent three tool for us to develop and make many of the videos. In fact, this very video has been edited together using Shotcut. And finally, I should thank Open Broadcast Software for PC capture and Elgato's game capture as almost all our console capture footage comes from an Elgato game capture 60 Pro. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough from me. Thank you, and as always, stay tuned to the channel for forthcoming videos.